folks, I'm back once again. I've got my two guys that have helped me out on a few videos. We have Ben, otherwise known as Johnny Old School. Johnny Old School back again. Oh, and God. I've got him so drunk right now, he doesn't even know what fucking city he's in. Cal I've also got Red. Canada. Canada. Yes. Yeah, yeah, there we go. He's in Canada. And I've got Red as well, my soon to be brother in law as of. Tomorrow? <laughs> Why are you laughing? He's my brother-in-law. No take back. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. <laughs> so, tonight, I have planned a very special beer for these guys. Um, I've actually wanted to share this beer for a while. And I actually kind of probably fucked it up a little bit because we kept it in the freezer. And yeah, I don't know. it might just be like perfectly chilled. You may have not fucked it up. You may have actually made it as good as it can possibly be. It's an imperial stout. It should not have been chilled that much. Now, see perfect instructions on the back. Well, how will we just find out? All right, okay. So what we've got here is a 50-50 eclipse coming in at 11% alcohol by volume. And you know me and my strong beer. Like wine beer. I, it is. God. It really is. Because you can't fucking handle your alcohol with your Milwaukee fucking shit that you drink. How I have to you. come. I have How to come in here. You, <laughs> the, the truth hurts. It really does. There it is. I've missed that finger. <laughs> Anyways, so we've got the apple brandy one. So this is the blue bottle. It's from 2016. It's the apple brandy one. Um, it's from batch number two. And this is an Imperial Stout, which has been gorgeous. And I have to admit to you guys, this is not a cheap bottle. It's probably going to be fantastic, I'm going to guess. It's, it's probably not going to be like the kind of beer that like I would just drink like gallons of all night long. No. But it's probably going to be good. It I'm, I'm just going to take a wild guess here. Probably will be. Yeah. And I'm gonna... I can tell by just like the, like the design. The design of uh, uh, just like the, the front label and whatnot. Um, You've never had Eclipse, have you? I have I not had Eclipse. I, yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you've never had an Eclipse beer before? I've not. Um, wow, that's dark. Jesus. These are very special beers. So they come out of Holy um, shit, Alberta. Holy When they come to Alberta, they cost about $45 a bottle. Whoa. They're not cheap whatsoever. So this is a very special occasion that I pull this out. I was Holy supposed shit, to age this about two to three years because yeah. I wanted to see how it was. Right. But I've never had an apple brandy one and I had to have it. Right. I bought the vanilla one and it wasn't bad. I bought this one and we're going to find out how it is. Right. At 45 bucks a bottle, well actually I paid 40 because they made a mistake on their pricing. Wow, dude. Um, but I wanted to just try and save it for a special occasion. Yeah. It was either that or we're going to have the barrel aged single malt jack, and I'm sure someone else would have joined us on the video for that. Right. So, <laughs> so this is special. This is like, uh, this is like, you know, like, like craft beer is kind of like overtaking like the wine industry. Like it really is. Especially is. with like with our generation. It's like, who knows I'm, anything about wine? Fuck wine. I'm not disparaging any wine drinkers out there, but I'm just saying that a craft beer is a lot more interesting these days because. I'm, I'm taking my glasses off here because of the fact that A, I never wear my glasses, but B, <laughs> you just said fuck wine in BC. We're yeah. in BC you right know what? now, and I'm, we're in the middle of the Okanagan. And I'm sorry for some... that, I'm sorry for that, but at the same time, it's I'm not sorry, like some of the better. best craft beer isn't coming out of BC, so, eh, you know, okay, it's just right. yeah. shifting tastes of cultures. But there's hundreds of wineries out here. We're in the middle of the Okanagan where there's fruit aplenty. And all that should, for all that fruit should be turned to beer, somehow. Yeah, eventually it does. Eventually. Just not right now. Or moonshine. Yes. Or whatever you fucking made. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anyways. Radiator fluid. Eclipse Imperial Stout Brewed with Honey 10th Released Edition Aged in Oak Barrels 11% Holy Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna pack a punch. It looked like it was like pure thick molasses oil pouring out. Do the smell now? I'm not getting a brandy mm. sort of smell. I'm getting. I'm getting dark chocolate. But you do have the barrel smell. You do have yeah. that woody open. Yeah, I'm getting like woody dark chocolate. Yeah. A little mm. bit of honey. 
Yep, there's a little smell bit like in there's there. like a lot of sugar in there. I'm glad I have my tums. I don't smell like a lot of like coffee coming from it. It smells like like the woody dark chocolate to me. Well, guys, this is my last day of being unmarried. Cheers, folks. <laughs> that was on a spicy meatball. Uh, yeah, that was a spicy meatball. Not ooh. ruined. Ooh, mm. ooh, 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 ooh. That's Deep like a taste chocolatey honey. Coca Cola, my friends. Uh, that my is God. a honey dark chocolate. Mm. There is that brandy back. Oh, there's yeah. like so much like flavor happening after you swallow it too. Yeah. yeah. Oh there's, man, so there's like there's like the, the there's like the tongue flavor, like that part of your tongue. The you get to enjoy that. Yeah. You get to enjoy that for like five seconds, and then you get to enjoy like a whole other thing going on. Um, wow. Yeah. Hold on, I got I got this again. Oh, that first sip is like, that's like a smooth, boozy Coca-Cola. And you it slowly is. get it melting into like the dark, the dark chocolate. Um, a bit of like, you get some, some uh, like espresso bean, like an overtone. I sound like such a fucking pretentious prick right now, but that's exactly <laughs> what I'm experiencing, you know? You sound like, like a wine snob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, so there's like, there's like that espresso kind of like back here. Um, Damn, that's delightful. Do you that's have almost a macchiato, actually, I, I find, don't... because it's an espresso, mm. but it's more of a cream. There, cream yeah, there's a, there's a little it's creaminess a to it, yeah. It's yeah, a nice yeah. macchiato, but it's a chocolatey macchiato. But I, I, you also have the sweetness of the honey in there. Mm. I'm oh. not getting much of the apple brandy, though. That I'm not picking up on. Yeah, yeah. I, I Like, I'm picking more of the espresso stout. Right. The apple brand, like if I aged this possibly for another year, two years, and we had it possibly warm, yeah. it actually might, you might actually have the apple brandy. Okay. Where do you, like, where, like, where does, the, where does the apple, apple brandy apple. thing come in though? Like, like, so where's, um... basically, they don't tell you what it is, right. but every wax top is a different color. Okay. So the vanilla that we had was an ivory color. So right. it was an ivory wax top. This is a blue one, which is the apple brandy. Yeah. You have a red one, which is a cognac. You have right. like different colors, which gold, gold with sparkles, okay. which have different colors. Um, you have a coffee based as well. So you have yeah. this as a coffee. Imagine this coffee based. It would kick your ass. Mm. Like there's so much, like this is what they specialize in. They do the barrel age for at least a year, bottle Man. it, and then they hand Man. it out. So this has been in a barrel for a year. Yeah. And just, yeah, this is one of the ones that I don't mind, but I don't think the cost of $45 a bottle is something that I really want to spend on it. it okay, like for this size of bottle, that that does seem overpriced, but at the same time, if I were to rate this for what it is, I would say it's perfect. I would say it's a five out of five beer. Um, I'm not I'm not a stout drinker. I don't know a whole lot about stouts. I'm more of an ale drinker. Um, I, I like I'm, my stouts. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. more of like a Belgian ale drinker too. But in terms of what, like what I think this is and what they're trying to achieve, I think they nailed it. Um, and I, I don't think I could give this anything less than a perfect rating. This oh. I find is a little less like a stout and almost more like a porter and how smooth it is. Hmm. Because not... most stouts I find have more of an aftertaste to it than what this has. But that's the thing, that's the whole part of, of a, a barrel but, aged yeah. imperial stout, is you lose that flavor where it's gonna that, be strong and pungent. And a porter is not a high percentage alcohol where a stout is. Yeah, but this is this is 11% right now, and the mm -hmm. fact that your first sip tastes like fucking Coca-Cola, I mean, that's like, you don't pull it off unless you have some real engineering going to your fucking brew. Oh, you know? exactly. There's, I, mean, I, can, I can count on maybe like one or two hands, beers that have that uh, kind of ABV that are that are smooth like this and so that's why I'm saying like I personally think it's a five out of five beer and I, I totally agree with you like I, I I'm I've had quite a few of these and some of them are really stand out they really kick ass yeah this one is it's up there I really wish there was more of an apple brandy taste. There is a brandy taste, but you say apple brandy, there yep. better be a sweetness of some sort of golden If there was like a, like a slight flavor of apple, and like mentioning that, like the placebo effect kind of kicks in, and you're like, oh, maybe I can taste a little bit of apple. The fact of the matter is when like I first tasted it, that's not the first thing that I got. No, you get but coffee. If, yeah, but if, if, there, if there was just like, if you dialed that up like another like 5% or maybe 
not much but more than five percent. It is just just a little more. Like that would make this like something like astounding. Kind of tasty. I do have the brandy. Like you have that little burn from an actual liqueur or yeah. big hard look boozy taste yeah. of the brandy. I'm not gonna deny that, but I would love a sweetness of an apple. Like that's. There, just a little taste. There is a sweetness, and like I get, it, I get it more with like a like a bit of a honey sweetness, and like you could almost say that there's kind of like a crispness to the sweetness, which kind of reminds me of like a green apple. But again, on first taste, like that's not the immediate thing that went through my mind. In discussing the flavor, like I can see these kind of notes to it, but um, again, like I, it is a world I, class beer. And yeah, I just yeah, don't yeah. see how an apple taste would go with a stout, to be honest. I don't know, man. You'd be surprised. It kind of does. You be surprised. You have a golden delicious, or you have like a Granny Smith. You can make that thing anything you want, but you can't make it into eleven percent. You can make it into a five percent. Mm -hmm. mm. But an apple brandy, I'm, I'm sure that the brand, like I said, the brandy comes out of that. Yeah. You have that boozy content. You have that nice coffee flavor. You have yeah. that imperial stout that just comes out and just says hello how you're doing for 40 bucks a bottle though i would recommend like like you get this like if you're like if you're serious if you're like a connoisseur if you're a serious beer drinker um i don't think you'll be let down by this or by the price um if you're a little more casual or you're kind of like in the new the craft beer scene no i wouldn't say spend your 40 bucks on this uh, there's a Perfect. lot of other things um you could try like three four other things for the same price and really yeah. enjoy it um it's also the same reason why you go and buy a 40 60 dollar bottle of wine Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say this is more of like a special occasion beer, or like if you actually know the brewery and you actually know what you're possibly going to be getting, which you, I assume, basically did. Um, 5050 has been a world class beer in the States. Yeah. Them coming up to Cal uh, Calgary. Yeah. Them coming up to Canada yeah. is actually a big deal. So, like, they're, the, they've been a high seller for the past three years. This year, not so much because last year was kind of a it was a bum deal a little bit. Right. The, beer, the beers that they had were kind of they were iffy. Right. This year is still kind of iffy, but at the same point in time, they're really good. Right. Um, I was looking like when I was first introduced to this uh, through Joe from uh, Brew Games, he actually introduced me to this, mm. and the dirty, dirty bastard that he is. Yeah. Still like it, dude. Um, he actually introduced me to one of this, and I went out and I spent close to almost three hundred dollars for a few bottles of this. Jeez, of the 2015, that's... 2016. Yeah. Just overall. And that's all for 50, from 5050. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Eclipse. Yeah. Yeah. 5050. Yeah. You know, like anyone who says that, uh, like, I mean, we all make jokes about like the United States beer being like piss water. And sure it is. We also have piss water up here. Yep. But um, let Matt me tell you, Bruce. like, yeah, like uh, <clears throat> so, some of the best breweries for craft beer right now is coming out of America. There's no denying that. A 50-50, fantastic example, based on what I've just tasted. Um, Alma Gang, holy fuck. Yep. Um, like three philosophers. I don't think they're making that anymore. But that was one of the best beers I've ever had, bar yeah. none. No, like, there's there's some great ones out there. That's yeah. not a problem. I, I just yeah, I like this one, and I'm glad to share this with the guys and. Just sort of say, you know what? Let's get this shit done. Mm. Let's have some beers and whatnot. It's so a good, good beer to share with people that have a, a good appreciation for the taste of beer. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, you obviously enjoyed it because it's gone. <laughs> um, and granted, you didn't have to have that much, but you still enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. My score for this cannot be perfect. I would love this to be perfect. What are you giving it? What are you giving? I gotta know. Out of ten, I have to give this an eight seven five. Eight, close, oh my, to, close to nine. Close to <clears> nine. <throat> I have had a lot of barrel aged beers in my fucking tenure. Right. I would love to say it's not, but it's been a tenure. And it's also been a keg year for me. Um, right. And I enjoy some really good barrel aged beers, imperial stouts that have some good robust flavors, thickness to it. This doesn't have a lot of thickness to it for an imperial stout. Mm. It has a good flavor. The 11% is hidden in there, obviously, because I'm yep. getting drunk. But also the 11% I had before, and the other beers we had before. Mm. But at the same point in time, this one is still... Yeah, yeah you count them up. Count them up, boy. Got <laughs> the yeah, sandals. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's really good. 
but I'm missing what I really want, mm. and that's the I can apple respect that. brownly taste. I can respect that. So it's, yeah. Like, I, I, I love it. I will still spend another $40 on another bottle eventually mm. if there's another flavor that I have not tasted. Right. But I will also age it about five years to see how it comes out. That's what I really want to do. Probably fantastic. Your rating, sir. I would give this a nine. For stout, I'm finding it just a little thin for me. I'm not going to complain on that, actually. And not enough head. But otherwise, it is a nice, clean, crisp taste. I can taste the brandy. There's a tiny, tiny hint of the honey, of the apple, with, I believe, the honey kind of masking the apple. Mm. Okay, well, that's fair. And otherwise, this is a beautiful beer um, cold. I would like to try it warm, a little warmer. The stout was supposed to be warmer, and I really apologize for that. And that's probably why you're missing the head because this was a little too cold. Mm. I'm not I still say that. both of you guys are insane. This like insanely chilled, just as it is. I still say it's perfect. I, that, 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 that's for, I mean, you have not had a 50-50 before. This is your very first experience. This is true. So I have popped your fucking cherry you have, virgin 50-50 yes. bottle. You have, indubitably. And I've had a few of these, and I know what I like, and I know that there's a lot of... And like well, I said, Dan, you see, is, um, like your taste is wrong, and my taste is right. And I'm that's sorry. how it works. I'm big on Are the you stouts. a macro beer drinker? Oh, wait, hang on. Let's look at the old Milwaukee you're drinking. <laughs> I drink old Milwaukee all the time. I'm shameless about it. Shameless. <laughs> mm. Oh, sweet. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is so much better. Mm. 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 This can is actually empty. I'm just pretty to drink it. So, but yeah. Just put this back on. Yeah. <laughs> For those who saw the previous episode, you would actually get that joke. Mm. Anyway, so final verdict. Um, like would buy again. Would get drunk off of. I've been giving this my five out of five. 10 out of 10, obviously. Yeah. Because I am going 10 now. Right, right. right. I gotta, I gotta get used to it. You got, uh, yeah, it took me a while to get used to it too. Yeah. And I, I understand that and I really, I appreciate that. I really do because this is something that you have not had before and it actually is a very world class beer. Yeah. Okay. Well, regardless, this is a fantastic beer. The oh, yeah. price range, I mean, I'd say it's a little, it's... a little too expensive, but I mean, for the price that you would pay for something like this, this is what I would expect out of a beer. Like if it, it was anything less than this, like if I had bought it, I'd be really upset. If like I paid for my 40 bucks for this and I tried it, I'd be like, like not perfect to that price range, but like I get it, you know? Like I get it, so. All right, so we do have our varied opinions on this. It's still a really good beer. It still has high remarks. So now we gotta fight to the death about it. We're going to do that off camera. Okay, on the balcony. And I'm actually going to bring in a substitute because I'm getting married and I can't actually get hurt. Shit. All right. And here comes You're John right. Cena. Damn it. <laughs> Way taller than me. I'm going to make ass kicked. Sorry, man. Sweet. You started this. All right. I'm going to finish it one way or another. Until <laughs> next time, folks. I've been PK. This has been Red. This has been our four Johnny old school. And we've been here kicking your ass with good beer. Until next time, folks. Cheers, stay frosty, and we'll have these guys back real soon because I can't fucking do this alone anymore. <laughs> have a good one! Thanks again. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Cheers, folks.